guys, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing really good. We've been getting tons of activations, tons of downloads. It's been insane. And I don't honestly know how to articulate my readings anymore. Like, honestly, I'm at the level now where, and we've all been receiving upgrades, where I'm going to be communicating a lot through symbolism as well, through symbols. But for this reading, let's see what we get. We're going to pull for Twin Flames today. We're going to actually see what's going on with the Divine Masculines and to see what unfolds. It's going to be quite interesting, if I do say so myself. If you didn't see my last video where I compiled synchronicities for you, it's an activation video. It's about 11 minutes long, I believe. I highly recommend watching it. My husband actually caught something on our camera that was definitely like an Arcturian frequency code. Yeah. Yeah, that was for me. I split it on the Empress. Yeah. It was actually pointing directly. Well, he said, well, I'll explain it here upcoming if I have room to insert it in the video. If not, go watch the video previous to this one or I'll pin it in the comments. If you're interested in a reading with me, my readings are open right now. So, um, and if you're waiting on a reading with me, stay patient. Let's see. Ooh. Let me get a clarifier for this card. Wow, okay. Well, yeah, that's good, but I, that's not what I wanted. See what we're going on here with this, with this devil card. So if you've been receiving like a ton of activations, just please know that's normal. A lot of people are like going through it as in the activation arena. Your superpowers like too are coming online. Especially divine masculines right now. Like as soon as I say that, all the cards want to pop out. We have the devil here, but we have victory. The devil and victory. Okay, so I feel like overcoming some sort of like shadow aspects here. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that. This glare is so bad. Okay, fulfillment with the reward. Balance here with the work. Okay, yeah, so there's something here with the work. For the divine masculine, it's like they're learning their own flow. They're learning their own balance. And you could be too as well, divine feminines. Um, yeah, I'm getting like huge upgrades for the both of you. Huge transformations. A lot of you could be seeing butterflies right now or peacocks. Um, what else? Firework symbolism, seashell symbolism, star symbolism, like different pointed stars. Like So this could be like eight pointed star, um, seven pointed star. Nine point star, five point star, like you name it. If you're seeing it, that's why. Birds are also showing up a lot. So like cardinals, um, different breeds of birds. So yeah, also a lot of um, star seed stuff happening, star seed activation. So if you've been in contact with your beings of light or you've been seeing light codes or you've been receiving like frequencies or you've been feeling it throughout the body, you've just been receiving like these prophetic downloads or knowings or dreams. The dreams one is huge. Okay. So this is it. I feel like, okay, there's someone coming in with an, uh, something that they want to talk to you about. And this has to do with their intuition, and it also has to do with the two of you working together. This is what this is. The two of you working together, because I have the two of wings with the profession card. 44 just now on my clock, clarifying that, because that's a 22, a 22. Two, two would be two of the feminine, two of the masculine, within one number, combined as two would be the 44. Does that make sense? Okay, two and two, four. 22 is ship communication. Okay, so let's see what else we get. You have fulfillment here. You're like, okay, someone's scared to like uh, progress with this, but there's fulfillment coming here. There's also clarity. Maybe you're trying to figure out what that will be. Yeah, so the veil is lifting and your star ancestors are showing you how this is going to become prevalent in your field. So I'm getting like twin flames are going to start working together and you're going to see more and more of them. Take word of what I'm saying. Take word of what I'm saying. You're going to see divine 
divine feminines, divine masculines, you're going to see soulmates and twin flames. You're going to see them together, coupling, doing some sort of like profession or, or a new level to their profession or combining like their gifts to make this like new thing. Okay. And remember, I got this in a reading prior, but this is like coming in like super strong, super strong. We have Thoth uh, scribing has been like a huge message, writing things down, scribing. Um, you could be very detail oriented with like numerology symbols. Like you both could be, um, astro even, um, just symbols in general here, frequencies, collective energies, those kinds of things. Okay. Yeah. So there's a call here and they're needing you to answer the call. Pay no mind to the man behind the curtain. Pay no mind to the doubt behind the veil. Because once you lift the veil up, you realize that it's not even there and that what you were scared of was nothing to begin with. Okay. I'm getting like you both are coming across some information, whether this be online or just from the two of you connecting that is unveiling also this like this this knowledge that's going to change the world because it's knowledge that's truth that's been hidden and i'm not just saying that that's what's happening like you're both being called you're both being called and like the water is calling you so throat expression how is this okay the emotions too like you're going through such massive upgrades at this time and your emotional healing is getting you where to where you want to be. It's, it's leading you to this next door that you're going through. Okay. You're stepping it up. It's time to step up. And like, whether you do this yourself or with your person, it's fucking time. It's fucking time. There's no more. There's no playing. There's no playing small. There's no more just like, being empathetic or caring to everyone else fe else's feelings like i'm sorry but like and this might seem like delusional and absolutely insane but if you're taking on a mindset at a specific time with pure intentions it's only to catapult you further your guides could be coming in your guides okay meaning like your et guides could be coming in with these strange perceptions of yourself in order to propel you forward so the, an idealism that it's like just your story and you're moving forth on your story it's just you and your twin story you're moving forth on your story you have to put the blinders on and ignore everything else that's going around outside of you but in, not in an uncompassionate way Okay, so like, of course, like still have compassion, but this is all about like staying focused here and moving forth. Okay, because there's a lot going on. Like I said, there's integrations, there's activations, there is symbols popping out, there's knowledge popping out, there's revelations coming in, there's prophetic messages, prophetic dreams, there's new gifts coming online that you both are experiencing and feeling and the immensity of this is so much that you're just both like what the fuck <laughs> like what do i even do that's how i've been like with my readings i took a whole week's vacation a whole week because i couldn't even i couldn't i was receiving so much and i'm still receiving so much i don't even know how i'm functioning right now but um yeah the clock is significant they keep showing me the clock the hands of time yeah god there's so much here I, and you know, like, I know you all know. I know 9-11 just now on my clock. I know you all know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, so let's see. Let's get into this here. So these are the foundational cards. This is kind of like the collective energies, I would say. But also what you both personally are going through at your own levels of awareness. Mm, boundaries they're saying boundaries okay um, <coughs> music could be significant music here everything is a frequency a video that they pointed me to this morning was how god spoke creation into into spoke creation into creation basically 
Everything that he spoke became creation. <clears throat> so it is a frequency. It is, you know, taking all of that vibration. It's like, what are you going to do with this vibration? This is a whole new vibration. And it's also having the level of awareness to like, all the encompassing timelines here it's like you are feeling it even if you can't see all the timelines you're feeling it you're feeling it because at a level of conscious awareness right now where you've been upgraded right now right here right now you know that there's a level of you on a multitude of timelines past present future and even different lengths that we've never been aware of before in different timelines time time different times that we've never even been aware of all we know is the clock what's beyond that yeah time doesn't exist but it also does that's the paradox here but there's also different levels to time that we've never even stumbled upon before there's different levels of timelines even that we've never even stumbled on before so you're considering like what we know thus far but now our consciousness is being upgraded it's even more overwhelming so you have a multitude of understanding, but even if you don't understand it, you're feeling that understanding, okay, before you come into it. Does that make sense? What the fuck? Okay. <clears throat> Sometimes my readings are like activations too. So even if you have no fucking clue what I'm saying or talking about, it's okay. Just you're getting the activations that you need. Just sit through it. <laughs> Just take it. Just take it. Claim it. Okay, let's see. I mean, no matter what you do, you're going to be receiving it. So you're already doing it. Yeah. <laughs> you're already doing it. I, this is my guides for you. My guides are fucking hilarious. Okay. They're not, but they are. Okay. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Yeah. You need 12, 12, just down the clock. And I saw that twice today. On the back of a truck while pulling in while George Michael's song, Father Figure, came on that I provided in that Synchronicities video. Second portion of you, second time that they're telling me to have you watch that, okay? You're already doing it. George Michael's song came on and I pull up behind a truck that had 1212 on it. Then I saw it on my clock. Again, it's that awareness, but like those are just angel numbers that we always see. What about the ones we haven't seen yet? What about the ones we haven't even discovered yet? What about the different codes that lie within those numbers? What do we even know about numbers? What do we even know about time? What do we know about timelines? This is what's cracking open right now. This is what we're receiving right now. This is like going beyond like what I can even fathom right now, okay? Inner earth, cracking open, inner earth. You'll survive this new solutions and beginnings, see? It's like a whole new road, a whole new yellow brick road, like Earth school, like you think you know about earth school, you think you have a clue, you think you have a clue. We thought we had a clue. These are like lessons beyond the comprehension of anything. Like we, I don't even know how to articulate this, but all I can do is sit here with, <laughs> literally I had this conversation this morning, like I don't even know how to do these readings now. Like all I can do is just sit here and be with my frequency. Some of us have stepped into new earth. Some of us have stepped into new earth. If you can comprehend what I'm saying, then you have as well. If you can't, that's okay. You will soon. It's like beyond the mind. It's beyond even understanding. It's like a total unknown, but total known. All at once. All encompassing. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Yeah, you're studying. You're studying, higher learning coming in, and a way to articulate differently is coming. Yeah, because like I said, pretty soon, I'm just going to be writing things down in symbols, and I'm going to be showing you. And even those like that don't understand will still be activated through that. We'll still be able to catch up with that. We'll still be able to understand it at some subconscious level. But that's how I'm going to be doing some things, moving on here soon, like... There, there's gonna, there, when you upgrade, you can't help but upgrade what you're doing already. That's just what happens. It's a natural evolution and progression. But it's like, I, I don't, like I said, like, I, I can't even articulate because that's the articulation in and of itself is through the symbol and through the symbol recognition and the synchronicity and the understanding of that and then connecting of that, even if you don't fully understand it. 
the recognition and the awareness of that, okay? The flow, the patterns, the progression, the evolution. This is you and your twin. I mean, this is the epitome of you. It's beyond comprehension. Yeah, what have you been sacrificing when it comes to your dreams and your balance and your fulfillment and your inner peace? Go within your own inner earth. Where does that lie? Where does that reside? You heal the earth by healing yourself. You heal the earth by going within. You heal the world. You heal your inner world. And then you heal the world. And it's both. While you heal the world, you're also healing your inner world. See the synchronization. Like, we live within paradoxes, but it's beyond the paradox. Can you see beyond duality? Can you see beyond even multidimensionality? Okay, that's the level of vision. That's the level of comprehension and the energies that you're receiving right now. Both of you are. It's like, what the fuck is happening? Okay. It can feel frustrating because it's like, you're wanting things to happen the way that they always have, but that's not the way that the universe is working right now. It's up-leveled, just as we have up-leveled. Up leveled. Like there's new ways that we're going to be actually receiving everything. It's all new. It's all unknown, but it's also exciting. So instead of like being frustrated, take that frustration and turn it into excitement here. That's what spirit wants you to do with your visions, like everything. You may be overwhelmed, but tap into that frequency of excitement as a catapult to keep moving you forward. Because you have no choice but to move forward anyways. You may as well make it magical and fun. You may as well time travel. You may as well astral travel. You may as well bilocate. You may as well remote view. You may as well realize that the reality that you believe to be real isn't. And that the dream is what is actually real. And that the dream is what it is you are creating. You're already doing it. This is the work that you're doing. 1717 just now on my clock, which is an 88 which is the infinite connection between you and your twin, you and your soulmate, the work that you do, overstands the romance level. It's like, yeah, romance is fucking amazing, but like the work that you're doing is, is God's work. It's universal. The truth, truth just popped out. And justice. I mean, this is karma at its finest. You see a, you see a foundation that's shaky that, that's like not even real, which is society. All it takes is one person to come in with the frequency that they already had, which is of truth. And it, all it can do is bring in the ray of consciousness, that of which is divine justice. Because how can people participate in a society that is built on a foundation of lies. Once they see the lie and they become aware of the truth, what's motivating them to still participate in a lie? You almost can't. You almost can't. Actually, you can't. Actually, you can't. This is the awareness. This is the aware, there's so much coming in. It's beyond that. That's a little level of it. And that's a big level if you think of it, considering it. But that's the little of, that, like there's so much. I don't even, I can't even. Union. Yeah, there's union, but what else? Spirit's saying, yeah, but what else? Beyond that, think beyond union. Think beyond what your mind is going to. Can you perceive the frequency? Can you feel that? Can you tap into that fucking level? If you can't perceive this right now, that's okay. But you will be soon. This is this is the message. Success, yeah. Success is coming. There's this level of torment that you both have been clearing through. Sorrow, bottom of the deck. Level of torment that you've both been clearing through, that you've both been healing. You are seeing through the illusions. Like, I can't put it any other way except like you know what the sorrow is because you put it there on your path because that was something that you wanted to overcome and in a sense you realize at the lowest level that that's actually an illusion at the highest level is actually the truth 
And therefore, the paradox is where you come together in the middle and you realize both of it happening simultaneously at once. It's the balance of the both. And then you can see through that. You can see through all of it. And you have that idealism of what it is that you want and how easy that is to bring in if you've been bringing everything else in. And then you can course correct that by shining into the highest vibration. It's a whole new adventure. It's like, forget Neverland. That was a land that was never there. It's like you created this land that was never there. They created this land that was never there. Now you're seeing a land that's actually there because that's the land that you're building from here on after. Yep. It's, it's the illusion. It was the illusion and the, and the fogginess into the clarity and the light. The unveiling of the truth. Okay. The unveiling of, of clarity. Beyond indecision because you are the leader. Okay. Beyond indecision because you are the leader here. You both are for the new world. Let's see what else is going on. Patience is very important right now. Balance, inner peace, trusting, walking on the path that God is showing you, that the universe is showing you. Introspection right now, two, one, three, four. Overanalyzing because there's just a lot. Your mind is being upgraded. Your soul is showing you. You're seeing through the illusion. And you both are starting to see this, okay? Trust. 22. 22 minutes just now on the clock. Okay, and 2201. So 122, 221 could be significant. I'm just like really trying to feel the energies of these cards. And just as I laid my hand down, I saw a big, bright, flashing orb. There's so much here. All I can do is do the best that I can to relay the, the frequencies and the vibrations and the messages to you. That is all I can do. That's all I ever wanted to do. But I'm just saying it's, it's so much. I don't know how many times I can say it. it's so much. Okay. I'm hearing crickets outside. You might be frustrated by the silence, but that's because the Pleiadians are talking to you. The seven. And this is also, yeah, the seven. This is the double mission. This is the channeling, uplifting humanity. Dancing could be very significant right now. Playing could be significant right now. Um, yeah, because you're birthing something new. Okay, don't do to fit in. Mirror work could be significant right now. Dream work could be significant right now. Trust that you are protected because you are. You are a rainbow warrior. Your soul family is being drawn to you. You hold this star mother energy, okay? Boundaries and falling into the understanding of the totality of the love vibration that is here right now. Okay, I know this sounds like insane and like, <clears throat> a lot, but it, that's only because it is. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. Let's see. Any other messages? Introspection. Yeah. They want you to ponder upon these frequencies, these vibrations, these messages. If you need to take out a notebook, you know, before this reading and take some notes down, I highly recommend it because there's just a lot coming through. You can also, you don't have to do that. You can just sit through the energies as well. But also be aware that like you're writing the story, you're creating the story. How it ends up is up to you, okay? So I hope this resonates for you all. If you wanted a personal reading with me, they are open right now. If you're waiting on a reading with me, again, please be patient with me. But I will have them to you shortly. And I love you all so much. If you want a chance to win a free reading with me, all you have to do is subscribe, give this video a like, and leave a comment below to <clears throat> get a more tuned in dialed in personal reading. I almost want to call it like a frequency reading. There's just so much going on. But yeah, if you wanted that and you're interested in that, I can definitely do that for you through either a personal, a love, or a starseed reading. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. 
Um, definitely subscribe if this video helped you out. Definitely give it a like as well. And until next time, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye now.